I attended Coldwater Boot Camp about two years ago, and it, it was a special project whose in, intent was to document the effects of cold water immersion and hypothermia. And uh, they just put us in the water from a boat and asked us to perform different tasks, and uh, I failed miserably uh, as they intended or as they thought I would, as they predicted. But uh, I went into the water, and uh, my head went underwater. I gasped, and I ingested all this water. And they say it's you know, a gallon or a gallon and a half that you ingest, and I did just that, every bit of it. And uh, I never was able to recover. In about three or four minutes, I had drowned, and they, they saved me, obviously. But uh, you know, I learned that if you go in water, unexpectedly, especially in water less than 70 degrees, that you better have that life jacket on because it's, it will save you and uh, the, the odds are against you. I got a first-hand experience of that lately with a, a boating accident where a 40-year-old man drowned. His boat sank. He was fishing. He was a fisherman and the water temperature was 49 degrees. And uh, He entered the water and all he had to swim was 100 feet and he couldn't make it. And, and I'm talking about a 40-year-old guy who looked 28. I mean, he was in great health. Um, he, just, he just experienced that cold water shock and because he didn't have his life jacket on, he wasn't able to make it to shore. And, and he had life jackets in his boat, but he didn't stand a chance of getting to them before uh, the boat went out from under him. Just have your life jacket on. And it, it, it doesn't have to be a big, bulky, uncomfortable life jacket that you can't fish in. It can be just, you know, just a life jacket, that, uh, an inflatable life jacket that's well maintained and is approved for, by the Coast Guard uh, for whatever activity you're participating in. Uh, if you do that, you're in good shape and it will make all the difference in the world.